Hey guys, I'm gonna do me an unboxing. So I do quite a bit of 3D printing. As you can see, my office is kind of a mess right now. I got stuff everywhere. But the 3D printer that I'm gonna be unboxing and trying out is Bamboo Lab. Now I tried to get in on their, uh, I was gonna get in on their Kickstarter for their Bamboo Lab uh, X1 Carbon. But, you know, I decided uh, I'm going to wait and I'd pull the trigger. So this one is the P1P. And basically what it is, it's similar to the X1. Except it doesn't have the AMS, which is a, a auto feed uh, material system. You can put up to four rolls of filament in it. And then you can actually configure the printer to do four of those and do up to 16 colors. So the AMS works with the P1P. There's just some things in the carbon, like the uh, the X1 carbon is fully enclosed, and but you can print the enclosure with this printer. The X1 is the carbon without the AMS and without the enclosure. It also has a hardened steel nozzle, um, has a... I can't remember what they call it, some kind of special uh, testing feature where it can actually go down and test the uh, first layer to make sure everything's going down good as it adheres to the bed. This doesn't have those options, but if you buy the P1P now, it comes with a little gift package that has a camera, LED, and extra fan. Um, so well, here's what I have now. You can see it right over there. That is my... Tronxy. It's a XY Pro Titan, XY2 Pro Titan. It's been a good, reliable printer. I've been printing it, printing with it for a couple of years. Um, my wife does a lot of garden stuff with it. Uh, I print a lot of face planters and moss poles and stuff like that. I also print parts for um, ham radio stuff, antenna parts. It does a really good job. It prints pretty good. It, I've upgraded it with the glass bed. And I've changed out the nozzle, hot end, and the extruder quite a few times. Because it does, those parts are, they're like consumables. They do wear out. The carbon, or the X, or the P1P, the uh, Bamboo Lab P1P, it comes with a steel hot end nozzle. But you can order the hardened steel nozzle for the P1P, which I've done. I ordered an extra hot end, uh, a hardened steel nozzle, and a few other things. It also cleans the nozzle head also. It's supposed to be a lot easier, a lot more user-friendly. And it prints at like 500 millimeters uh, per minute or something like that. This prints at like 60 to 100 that one prints like 250 to 500. So we'll have to see. We'll get it all in place. And um, we'll have to see just how it does. What I like, I'm hoping it will fit underneath that cabinet without any issues. So we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it all set up, unbox it, and show you how easy it is to put it together. All right. So the first thing we got to do, get this off of the table, put it down here, and then bring this down. So the way they have it set up is these two mark for this plastic here and here. And you literally lift it up out of the box by the plastic bag. Put my feet against the box. Up we go. Nothing else is in here. That's it. And you just yank it out of the box. How easy is that? So let me go ahead and close this up. I am not a 3D printer expert. I do a lot of 3D printing. I enjoy it. But there are a lot of people out there that 
are really, really good at it. So we'll go ahead and take the bag down. This I got a few days ago. This is the um, little bonus pack. Camera, large uh, external fan, and a um, LED light. So it has a little instruction book, a quick start guide right here. Go ahead and peel this off. Take that off. I guess it'd be a good idea to read the directions. Typical man thing. Don't read the directions. So the first thing we want to do is take out this phone, take out this phone, take off this piece of cardboard, there's a piece of tape right here, holds a wire, this is going to be for the, uh, the little LED display. And we got some extra stuff here. This has some filament, hot end. I think that's the shroud for the, not really sure what to look. Oh no, this is a little uh, scraping blade, uh, different parts. So power connector, LED display, tube, uh, spool holder, your filament spool holder. So, more foam. More foam. Plastic bag. Take some nips. Um, They got these little red tags. Let's see if we're gonna a little closer. All right, so you got a couple screws here to hold the um, your filament spool, the spool holder. You have one screw that comes out here and then it replaces with two screws, screws that come in its own envelope. It says spool holder, spool holder. Then you have this Bowden tool uh, tube holder that goes in. It's in its own bag. Um, Let's see where it's at. I think it's this right here. Right there. Two banker. Two screws. They actually go in and tighten down and then it stays loose. And then you'll have the tube and this wire tucked in here. You shove the tube one end down in there and then one end into here. Now, all that's in all that's in this book gives you step by step on what to do. Then there are three screws marked by these red arrows. One there, one there, and then one tuck in there. Take those screw, three screws out. I went ahead and any extra screws I'm going to put in this bag just to hold on to it in case I want to, you know, if I move or want to ship it or whatever, I can pack it all up. So next is to put the LED screen, which goes right here. I'm going to put that in. Kind of difficult to do with... 
holding the camera, but you just connect the uh, wire. It's pretty, you can see it only goes in one way. Then it uh, tuck the wire in, plug it into the, the holes and then push it to the left and it just snaps right in. So once I got plugged in, got the app, just follow the instructions. This thing's really self-explanatory. I mean, they tell you step-by-step step what to do. It's going through its self-test right now. And uh, you leave that foam in the bottom until it's done with the, with the calibration test, which it's doing right now. Next step, load your filament and push it all the way up into the tube until it can't go any further. So far I've noticed I've had to do two updates. The app came up and told me there was an update needed and now the display came up and said there was an update needed. So I'm just go ahead and just run the update until that's all done. Then I'm just gonna select down into this folder and we're gonna print something. I mean, you don't have to do any bed leveling or, or anything. It does all that for you. But now that my test is done, I can pull these pieces of foam out. We're done with that. So I'm assuming it's self leveling right now before it starts printing. Um, I'm not really sure. I just told it to print and we're watching it's hitting a bunch of spots on the uh, bed. And I think it's doing a, a leveling routine. And a temperature dropped to 140. I had it set at 220. So. That thing moves around pretty quick. Oh, now it's heating back up to 220. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, that thing's hauling ass. <laughs> So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start it over. Cause that doesn't look right at all. I don't think my filament was pushed in far enough. Cause I wasn't even getting a started print. So let me go back and let's start this benchy over again. Print. Ready to print. So let's start over. I don't think I was getting. That's where it does the little nozzle cleaning. Cleans off any excess filament. So we'll start over in a second, see if it's working. So to print itself a little quick layer, now it's starting. Holy crap, that is just hauling booty. It looks much better now. <laughs> I am loving this thing. It is fast. We're sitting at, uh, uh, I think, like 13 minutes. And it's estimated to print in 20. Um, it is kind of loud, 
that fan in the back and I'm going to install the other fan that, that uh, came with that bonus pack. So it does, the, uh, that fan, I mean on the, on the uh, hot end, it's pretty, uh, it's got some noise, but you know, that's kind of expected. Actually, the fan is louder than the printer itself. That's the loudest part on it. But I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up where my old printer was and get ready to start printing some other stuff. Uh, I'll have to do an update on how I feel about it. But so far, uh, I'm really impressed on how easy everything is. Um, now, I don't know if there's any kind of manually uh, manual leveling or... Um, I do have an extra hotbed and coming in, so or hot end, so I have to see what it goes, what goes into actually changing the hot end. But I'm going to print the enclosure. Maybe that will help uh, cut down on sound. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Here's another thing great about this: it has its own software. It's proprietary. <clears throat> but it's very simple to use and you literally send your print straight from the software to your printer. The other ones do it too with Wi-Fi. Um, but this has been pretty seamless so far. The um, bonus kit you get with the light and the fan and the camera, you have to print some parts. So it says, so since I already have the white, installed on the printer i'm going to go ahead and print the uh, led light diffuser and there's a qr code right on the box of all the parts goes straight to the instructions all the files are there you just download them slice them and send it to the printer here's the three parts for the little bonus pack you get the fan camera the led light and on the box, you'll see a QR code right there. And you take that, it gives you instructions. Uh, also gives you the files for this white piece, the black, you have to put in your own black filament, and then use the black to print this holder for the fan, and then follow the instructions to install it. Here we go. Now printing a planner, it's a face planner. And normally it takes about 24 hours. It's gonna print in a little over an hour. I have the LED light installed. The external fan. And then the camera is right there. And uh, so far so good. Well, I've been, I printed quite a few projects. Some butterflies, these are moss poles for my wife's gardening stuff. And I'm very impressed. Um, after about uh, maybe a week of printing, I had to go in and clean off the nozzle. I did a, I did a cold pull just to uh, clean it out. There wasn't much debris in there though. And, um, I'm very satisfied. This thing is fast, easy to use, does what you need it to do, and I uh, bought some spare parts so I can have the hardened steel nozzle. It comes with the stainless steel, and uh, I'm loving it so far. Uh, I actually plan on uh, selling my large printer, which is 500 by 500 millimeter and buy in another one of these since it prints so fast. I use that printer to, br to, to print large quantities of stuff. And since this print prints so fast, I can do smaller beds, smaller amounts at a time, but five times as fast. So if you have any questions, give me a holler, subscribe, Got any, qu uh, any ideas, critiques, I'm all for it. Talk to y'all later.